Integrated Circuit 23, Digital Circuit Advanced Subject, Data Acquisition. This is the second part of the AD converter. We will introduce a few more different type of AD converters here. The third one is Balanced Charging Integration Type AD Converter. Now, we already covered Integral Type. Now, this one um, it's slightly different. What we do is we have R1, R2, and the voltage reference V, uh, R, and E in is the input data, and generate E0. So what happens is the there is a flip flop here, and when this becomes positive then clock goes through and we count number of clock and when this goes negative here then this one goes shut off no clock so we count number of clock going through here okay and when this is high we turn on this guy and go the uh, different direction now the the current it's going to be IR is VR over R2 and I in equals E in over R1, right? And we're going to balance this current. So the counting number of pulse, this is integration and derivative is what this the total i is right so clock pulse keep going and this goes positive this is positive area we start counting a pulse okay this positive area we count pulse so the number of pulse so the the cp over so is going to be um, the say number of pulse it should be uh, proportional to uh, e in uh, i in r1 i uh, r r2 and that's going to be E in, E R, R2, R1, R2. Oh no, we don't need this one. So it's going to be, yeah. Okay, so counting number of clock pulse, we give a clock pulse based on the counter. The number of counter keep going and total counter is counted here so this guy goes to the reset and counter keep counting the uh, uh, this is gonna be NCP and when you, when you count the pulse appearing here data counter is going to be N NSO okay so we take a ratio we can we can figure out this is a reference voltage this is input voltage we can get the input to voltage by counting number of pulses and the great things about this is the easy to filter out the target frequency noise noise can be completely uh, neutralized it's generators serial data data pulse filter there's some misspelling here um, so the data pulse is sent out so this advantage this data pulse can be used for various encoding decoding of the data okay so that's why this is widely used in the commercial product like a teledyne silicon x and hybrid systems 
they use all this method. This this is like balancing the current flow from both sides and go up and down and just generate the uh, number of pulse that indicate the the input voltage. Now another one is called tracking AD converter. The you have up down counter and depend on this voltage the clock keep going it's going to go up or down and this counter value is going back to the EI so what's happened is the E in come in and it's it's a step function it's keep going up and coming down okay and great things about this method is the analog function the memory function what we do is the we make it just up count only we control up count only then we have analog signal the highest value we can keep in a counter this counter and that's gonna give a uh, digital data that means we can capture the highest signal the same way if we set on the down counter we can capture the lowest signal in the analog input okay so the this is another application of AD converter and combining both together we can get the data also but the uh, great things about this is we can get peak hold they call oh here peak hold function okay so all kind of data acquisition uh, circuit is possible the this is the a d converter okay so if you like this video click subscribe